Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Leal Ryan. Let's get straight to it. All right, so today we are in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we're going to head over. Uh, since St. Croix is very close to San Juan, I was like, okay, that's going to be too short of a flight. So um, and I didn't want to fly all the way back from Tobago like we landed in yesterday because it's, it's a little distance. I didn't want to fly that long in this small aircraft just want to jump on you know jump from place to place be able to have have more practice landing and um taking off uh in a shorter period of time so let's uh jump down to saint martin 30 minute flight and it's always a cool airport to go into um nice landing over the beach so we'll hopefully land this thing a little better to uh today and then we'll head back up to saint croix which is Almost the same amount of time of coming back to Puerto Rico, but just a little shorter. Maybe like a 20-minute flight. So 30-minute flight there, maybe a 20-minute flight back to St. Croix. So um, <clears throat> it's funny. Someone commented on the last stream yesterday saying, um, you still owe me St. Croix. We need a, you need to land in St. Croix. You keep saying you're going to go St. Croix. Um, and I, you know, I'm from St. Thomas, the other Virgin Islands, and I prefer to go to St. Thomas. But um, there was never a scenery for St. Croix until just now. One of my other friends just sent me the scenery. Hey, hey, they released it. You should buy it. And I was like, yo, somebody just commented this morning to go St. Croix. So it's perfect, right? It was meant to be. Um, I got you, Kevin. Um, join my Discord. Click the Discord, the Discord link down below and uh, uh, message me there. And then I'll, uh, I'll send you any information you need. I don't want to send that out uh, on the stream like that. Uh, Okay, so let's get started. We're in American Eagle today. I liked the Delta livery because it looks more older and um, more rundown. This looks a little brand new. I don't see any dirt marks, but it's fine. It's fine. I like. I, I, I'm American Eagle, American Airlines type guy. Um, they need to make one with some dirt on it. But this does look. I just like American better than Delta in terms of just the overall look. I don't know. It's just me. Uh, I need an old American Eagle. Wait. It, isn't that all American Eagle livery? I don't. I should have been using that, and I didn't see it when I was selecting the uh, liveries for this aircraft. Anyway, let's get this thing started. All right, so we're gonna pull up here and do our little catering. Um, I'm gonna open up the main door. We're gonna open up the front, um, our right side service door, and then we're gonna make sure the aircraft is clean. We're gonna set it up, turn on the IRS, make sure we're aligned, all that good stuff. Definitely, Kevin. Uh, just join the Discord. And uh, message me, uh, direct message me um, on Discord, either way. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. We're going to turn on some power here first. Um, actually, we need that as well. Let's bring that up. Okay. Don't, don't collide, trucks. Nice. Look at this driver here. Bring it in fast. Don't touch the plane. All right, Chief, you're the man. Now, battery on. Eh. Are you going to give me available power? Let's turn this on. I shouldn't have done it that way. Let's see here. Let's, let's get rid of the truck here first. We're going to have to do it here. All right, and then we're going to do it through the tablet. Still learning this plane a little bit. Fellas, DJ, welcome back. Watching from the British Virgin Islands. Hey, what's up, Abstract Legend? Nice. We need to head over to Tortola, to Tortola one of these days. Which uh, island are you from? Surely you're not from, um, what's the other one? Um, the small one. Virgin Gorda. Okay, service truck is uh, about to leave here, and I haven't even opened the door yet. Uh, let's call, let's uh, do this. Let's um, go to aircraft. Let's add it there, and there we go. So we have available power. Now it's in use, and um, we could use that power now. Let's uh, emergency lights to arm. No smoking on. Seatbelt signs will leave off for now. We'll turn on our nav. We'll turn on our logo, and everything else we'll leave off for now. We'll leave these on fault. Recycling air on. Everything is good there. Fuel pumps are off. APU gens and engine gens are off. Uh, service trucker, we'll, we'll let it go. It, it loaded up. Let's pretend the doors are open. 
I have no time to call it back. We need to get this thing off the ground, right? Um, so we're going to open up the main doors. And we're going to do it with Jetway. Okay? So, yeah. It doesn't have the railings. Okay. And everything else is good. We're going to open up the cargo door. Does it really need to do a, a master caution for every door I open up? All right, the door should be open up down there. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're not gonna start doing the bags or anything yet, or loading passengers. Let's um, let's set up a couple things here in the FMC position the aircraft, and then we'll get ready. We already uh filed our flight plan on Vatsin Tortola. Nice, of course. I've been Tortola many times when I used to live in the in St. Thomas. I'm watching from St. John. Oh, nice. Too bad there's no airport in St. John, bro. Too many hills. Um, okay, so we got some air traffic control in in, in St. Martin. We have another aircraft. Look like he's gonna about depart and go to St. Martin as well. Um, so I don't know if that's someone's following me or something. <laughs> I feel like there's also someone following me. Okay, so we're gonna position the aircraft here. We are at TJSJ Sang Wang, and we're at. Uh, let's see if we put in the gate if it works. I think we're a B. I wrote it down. B Bravo. What gate are we? Bravo ten. Let's see if it even uh, allows me to do that. Yeah, yeah. Of course it doesn't. Bye. All right, let's just use the main airport position. Let's put it back in. I wish it copied TJSJ. And then we're going to go to St. Martin TNCM. I like this plane because everything actually works as it should. No buggy weird stuff in the FMC, so I don't feel like something's going to go wrong. All right, we're going to um, also go back to our tablet and load up the fuel and all that stuff uh, before we move forward. Um, uh, last time I did it from here, I usually do it in the fuel page before we start the stream, but I'm going to um, do it from the tablet this time and see how it works out and then get the whole performance from there. Who is texting me? Okay, leave me alone. All right, so we have only, uh, let's click what, 45 souls on board. Let's make sure I have my, uh, okay, 45. Yeah, I clicked there. Click there again. Well, I have to manually do it. Um, Ford cargo. Look at my load sheet here. Hmm, let's see. Passengers, cargo 0.5. So I'm not sure how we're going to split it, but it's 0.5500. Is that my, am I? Okay, let me see if I can just do this. I'm going to go, well, okay. Oh, that's what it is, because I have to back up first. And then, oh, got to remember to back up. Undo first. should have a clear button or something, but I guess. Um, so let's see. Payload should be no more than 10.9, but we have to finish putting in. So fuel is... 9,500, the max this aircraft should be is 15,000. So we're, we have about the right amount. I mean, we could, we could bring it down to what it really, oh, shoot, we just took out all of our fuel. Uh, I keep clicking, there we go. Uh, payload is eight, eight, um, yeah, a little bit more payload. So let's see what we're missing here. We have the amount of passengers and everything. Uh, same brief seems to be a little off on the, I guess the average passenger weight and stuff. So I'm gonna put 200 here. I keep clicking this as it's zero. Why do I do that every time? Uh, all right, I, we're fine. We're fine there. Flaps eight dry. Um, let's see what our mock is and CG is. Uh, it's a good CG trim 7.1. Uh, ZFW should be where is the ZFW 54? Hmm. Yeah, 54,000. Okay, that's perfect. 54,600. This is 54,673 and CG 18.6. I'm just going to look in here just to see what it did when we did all of that. Uh, it shows 9,862 here. Okay, so we need to send the information to that. So um, set payload in simulator. Oh, set payload in it. You will. Uh, did it change stuff? No, nine five hundred. Everything's the same. Why did? 
Why did it change? CG, everything is almost the same, but it changed my payload. Set payload instantly. Oh, because I didn't want, I shouldn't have set payload from here. My bad. So let's let's go back and fix that. Payload is 10.9. Well, actually, it's closer to what it's supposed to be. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll keep it there and let's just look back here one more time. And payload says 10. It's weird. Okay, it's, uh, it's a little off here. All right, let's adjust that there. Fuel, 9.5, exact. Okay. Um, all right, and we're going to copy this performance data to the FMS. And I think we're done here. We're going to set V1, rotate V2. I, click, uh, I just click, click set all. And we don't know if this is going to be changing by the time we get. All right. So now that we have most things, IRS, I almost forgot that. Nav, nav. Let's switch. Oh, we already have Unicode. Oh, this thing remembers uh, from our last flight. That's pretty cool. So 122.8 and 4505. And then we're going to, so let's change that here first, 4505 in the squawk. And uh, then we are going to, I think everything is good. TCAS on standby. All right. So we could start uh, loading up the passengers here. I think we're uh, mostly set up. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to put in the flight plan and we're ready to go. Okay. So let's call up bags. And let's start boarding the passengers in my passenger program. Uh, board passengers. Okay. Oh, let me turn my, turn my frames back on. So we're at 50 frames right now, 49. Just Okay. Okay, what else we got here, ladies and gentlemen? Let me switch to live map. Let me see if you guys are seeing anything. All right, so we're going to be out of here soon. Passengers are going to board pretty fast. We already have 17 passengers on board already out of the 45, 19, and it's going and going from there. Uh, like I said, this is uh, Puerto Rico. Hmm, where's my Zoom? Where is it? Okay. Oh, we got somebody online landed. That's pretty cool. Let's see if it's a real spare aircraft. So I, I like I said, I did the model matching in this uh for VATSIM manually, I had to manually create a file for it to work. So let's see if that's a real Spirit aircraft. It is a Spirit A320neo, and it matched correctly. It matched up with the livery that's in our file, um, in our uh, community folder, and matched it to that. Nice. Okay. I feel like all the ones that I have that are liveries have a space, a blank. Welcome, Welcome aboard. Okay, board is complete. That was fast. Please place your carry-on items in an overhead compartment, compartment or under the seat, seat in front, front of you. you. Oh, let's reset this. Small lightweight items may be placed, be placed in the seat pocket. If, if you need assistance, please, please let, let us know. know. Okay, let's put that back there. All right, let's stop the APU and switch that view. All right, baggage is, hasn't gone on yet. All right, so we'll keep the bags going in. Passengers are in. At least they're ready to go. Uh, IRS is, uh, we're going to let that align. We took a little long to do that. And, uh, but, um, I think we're ready to start the, uh, fuel pumps here, right? All right. So we're going to turn on our beacon light, fuel pumps on, and then we're going to go make sure everything is good. Bleeds are good. All right. It's all good to me. I'm going to turn off these gens. I'd rather control them when they will use them. Okay. And then I'm going to go with this. Hold down the APU, release. Okay. I'm trying to see where does it show APU starting here? Okay, there we go. So 16, and it's going to go up to 100 probably RPM. Okay. We still need to pull in the, the route and everything. And uh, let's just double check this. Oh, look at this. This showed up correct. Okay, so this is average weight per passenger. Ah. And 600 pounds. So we did everything and it loaded it into here perfectly. Look at that. All right, cruising altitude is flight level 210. Not going too high today. Um, execute that VNAP setup. That's correct. Everything's good there. All right, so just pretty, pretty much you need to put in the flight plan uh, and we're good to go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. I'm seeing things. Our APU, 
So when we finish start the APU and stuff, we got to make sure this uh, closes. Because it's supposed to close. And last time I think we were flying with it open. Um, watch uh, them ground services is add-ons or is it came with the sim? Kevin, uh, these are the ones that came with uh, this flight simulator. Um, it's not too bad, but it's not good at all either. But it's, at least it's something. Other simulators do, they didn't come with anything default. So we're waiting for like ground services X that works for P3D and um, you know FSX. <laughs> When that comes into the sim, it's gonna be great. Um, to be honest, the, the ground services that were um, that you paid for for uh, X plane weren't that good either, and those were payware. So we're just gonna wait until those come in. Okay, so um, actually, just in case, I'm going to realign where am I? In the next position, let's reposition again. I don't have to after align. Okay. I'm going to go TJSJ again just to double check that. I'm going to reset that and then go to TNCM. Not sure if I have to do that after I align the IRS. Okay, let's see. All right, and then we're going to go back here. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to do this one more time. So I just wanted to do it after I align the IRS, and then I wasn't sure if that was interfering with that execute. Okay, all right, so back to departure. We re, re, uh, depart run with 10, and we're going to. Uh, do we have a departure? Sangra 2. Next page. Hey, hey, hey. Is there even a Sangra here? It's a different runway. Oh. Let's see. Oh, what am I doing? Hmm. So I don't know why it. Um, just give me that uh, as an option. So the other one was uh, Jets. So let's just do Jets and let's just refile with Jets. I'm not sure. Okay, refile with Jets. So select Jets. Slugo transition, runway 10. Okay, execute. And then I'll. Um, Jets goes to Slugo and then the yellow bar one arrival into runway 10. RNAV 10. Uh, yellow bar. Mm -hmm. See Slugo there. Just want to make sure. Slugo is a transition on the arrival. Let's do uh, RNAV transition. Oh, no, no, let me cancel that. So let's do RNAV, Roma 10, Yuba, and let's do transition on the right to Slugo so it doesn't choose vectors. Execute. And then we're going to go to legs. And jets, Slugo. Oh, my gosh. I'm so used to Boeing. Uh, Yuluba. Okay, so let's let's see what the discontinuity is. All right, so our IRS is, is aligned. We're ready to uh, push back. Let's put on our seatbelt signs. Okay, APU is available. Okay, and down. APU is in use. Okay, and um, let's get rid of the external power. Let's remove the chocks. Let's close the main doors. Let's close the cargo. Oh, just like that. Everything is closing up. And then we're going to remove the jetway. Let's cl close the main doors already. Okay, jetway is being removed, I hope. Don't see any movement. Okay. I think we're all good, right? Before I call up the pushback truck, actually, let me call it from now. Get it, get it ready. Um... Push back. All right, let's go out to the flight plan here while they're doing that, and uh, we'll get this thing going. Let's move this out the way. Hello. Nav source FMS one, as you can see here. Let's see. 
Okay, let's walk to the flight by Harris, which is the plan. Jets, Slugo, let's now zoom back out. Okay, let's see. So we have Slugo to Yuloba. So let's pull Yuloba up and see that. Oh, okay. We need to actually get rid of the Yuloba. So let's go Slugo up. And then, actually, let's remove Slugo completely. Avaki up. Avaki up. And it should be Slugo before Avaki. Execute. Okay, so Slugo to Avaki. Okay, that should be like 2600. And then Lesser is 1700 normally, yes. And then into the runway. All right, we're good to go. Let's switch us back to that. Let's zoom in. Five nautical miles. 2.5. All right, that's good. We're ready for pushback here. Let's make sure everything is good before we push back. Air conditions on, recycle on, fuel pumps on, APUs available. All right, we're going to put gen power down. You can light us on. All right, I think we're ready to go, right? Hydraulics. Okay. Push us back. Brakes off. So I want traffic, American Eagle, 1007, pushing back at level 10. What you doing, map? Push back on Bravo 10 on November 3 for American Eagle Tradition. All right, let's go a little faster. Let's start up these engines, shall we? Mission on. And let's stop the right engine. Hold down. Release. My engine is starting. It's going to go straight on November. Actually, let's not block uh, the way. Let's push back right here. Thank you very much, fellas, DJ. Go a little faster, right? All right. Engine's ready. Let's just turn this direction so I can see. Make sure it's an idle. Okay, engine starting up. Oh, by the way, guys, I fixed the uh, throttle. So we should be doing a lot better in this flight. Um, I had to go into the tablet and calibrate the throttle. And that allowed me to um, that allowed me, so now where I'm moving my throttle, I know exactly where my throttle will sit. Um, so there's an idle, there's a climb, toga, max power. And now I know each notch on my throttle will perfectly line up with those things. Halfway is climb, and the next 75% uh, is uh, toga, and then full power is full power. So now when we're landing, we can manage power a lot better. Okay. Brakes on. Let's stop the next engine. I push my truck is out of the way. Right engine, sorry, left engine is starting. As you could see, 
and it gets to around 2.4, we'll start up the, uh, we'll move the throttle up. Okay, we could get rid of this page for now, we'll turn it off. Uh, all right, let's go and drop this in idle. Okay. All right, actually, let's leave this on and then we're going to use a checklist this time. We should, what's the ETA for TNTM? Uh, about 30 minutes. Checklist, let's run through it very quickly. Originating, before start, passenger seatbelt signs, all of that stuff. Landing, uh, okay, let's do our um, altimeter. is going to be for Sang Wang. Altimeter 2996. We're at 2992 right now. Let's switch this to, okay, go. All right, altimeter is FMS, IRS. Let's turn our um, F flight director. Engines have started. We're utilizing engine power. Okay, APU gen off. Okay, we're good. And then APU off. All right, what else we got to turn on? Taxi lights on okay ignition off hydraulics are on all of the necessary lights are on everything else seems to be good pitot oh sorry probes on so we have anything else yeah dampers okay so we're going to turn on stop trim mock trim yeah dampers Okay, spoiler stab in test, parking on. Okay, reverse thrusters on. Okay, um, takeoff briefing, clear to start, ready to all that APU, takeoff data, doors, beacon, fuel pumps quantities after start, electrics, lead valves, packs, APU, anti ice, taxi, flight controls. We're going to check those, we're going to check our trim. Our trim should be 7.2. And thrusty versus arm, flight control. Okay, brake temps is good. All right, so let's do our trim. Uh, right now it's 7.5, it needs to be 7.2. Oh, too much. All right, so trim is set. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Brakes off. Let's announce what we're doing. We're going to be taxiing via November 3 to Hilo to the runway. Oh, what just happened? Oh, see, now the throttle's working good. I barely touched it. I'm removing. Nice. Now right, let's check for brakes. Full left, full right. Up, oh, neutral. So I know what the problem is now, guys. These wheels, you see, they don't turn. They were turning before I started streaming. And they were turning because I didn't have FSU IPC running. So I need FSU IPC for a lot of my add-on softwares to work, like Sim Toolkit Pro and my passenger software. So I got to find a way to stop it from conflicting because I read up on the firm and FSU IP is stopping the wheels from showing them turning. It's such a stupid uh, glitch, but so we got to figure out how in FSU IPC we could stop it from conflicting with the plane because I really need to use FSU IPC. Sang Wong traffic, uh, American Eagle 1007 taxi into runway 10 via November 3, uh, Hilo. All right, so yeah, so and before the next flight, before the next stream, like another day, I'm going to try to figure that out. So at least I know the problem now. All right, somebody else is taxiing to runway 8.
All right, no traffic, we're good. Just looks so weird without the wheels turning. All right, continue taxi. So you can see, I can now put it in idle easily. And um, I could put it in climb. <laughs> no problem. All right, we're going to be off the ground here very shortly. Frames are doing good. You know, it should be better for, I think, in the islands, but we're smooth. Hopefully it looks smooth for you guys in the stream. I don't know. I can never get my streams to stream smooth. I have super fast upload speeds, and it's still just, I don't get it. What's our ground speed here? Hmm. 14 seems like we're going a lot faster than that see i'm looking at it i'm not sure if it's choppy because i'm looking at it on the same computer i'm streaming from but um definitely looks choppy looking at it from uh so I, uh, let me know if you guys think that the the atc right now we're gonna have some uh for landing but not a, not for departure. All right, we can go a little faster, right? Oh, I feel so much more confident about this throttle now. So when I'm coming out for landing, now I know I could simply, you know, um, move the throttle very little. Okay, slow down here a little bit. All right, let's set our flaps. She should have done eight. Turn our T-cast. Okay. We're visible now on the T-cast. Ch uh, Squawk Mook Charlie. I'm going to take off here from this first. Uh, let's make sure nobody's coming in for a landing or anything. I don't see anyone. Someone is. Nope. We're good to go. We're going to stop here shortly, turn on all our lights, and let the flight attendants know it's time for departure. All right, all lights on. Landing lights first. Taxi lights already on. Signal signs are on. Strobes, wing. And we are good to go. program okay so much traffic American Eagle 1007 departure runway one zero jets two depart that's jets one departure Double check. I don't see anyone coming in. All right, before takeoff, lights, fuel, manual, attendant, our advice, transponder. We did turn those on, the TCAS, radio cast, okay, and then climb. All right. Let's line up. Follows on idle. Let's double check one more thing here. Okay. Okay, point seven four is where we're gonna be at. Okay, good to go. 50% throttle, which is climb and toga.
Positive rate. Gear up. Set our trim here a little bit. Laps. Laps up. All right, let's bring back power here. Set the trim. Manage our power. A little down a little bit more. Now let's get on this magenta line. Okay, nav. Should be able to follow our flight directors. Let's turn left. All right, let's set our altitude here. We should have set that. Uh, it's already on 10,000. I'll turn it all the way up to 21. Bring our speed down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, let's set speed to, for now, to five zero. And let's try to match that uh, V speed. We're gonna set it to plus, am I going down or up? Yep, plus, wait, up. Oh. Let's turn back. Let's see where this arrow is going. I'm not sure it's down. I want to go up. Okay, up 3,000. Let's continue to climb. Turn back towards the magenta. All right, a little bit more power. A little bit more power. Turn back here again. Bring the power down a little bit. Let's turn a little more strong so we get on that line. Following the magenta of the uh, flight directors. Slow it goes down a little bit. We're climbing at about 3,000 feet per minute, 2,500. That's where we want to be. Okay, and let's turn back, follow the magenta. All right, got our speed to where we want it to be. Let's bring back our power a little bit. Okay, so we have nav on, V speed on, and we're at 4,000 feet per minute. Let's go ahead and turn on autopilot. Make sure nav is on. I have to press it again. Should be turning back right, but it's not. Let's see where it's heading to, and then we'll just direct. Let's go heading. All right, let's get our power up. Yes, this is the actual ca uh, background of the um, this is the actual background of the uh, plane. Now we're going to attention once we reach the safe exact background. Altitude. Your flight attendants will be two up the cabin to offer you beverages of your choice, followed by our international flagship meals. A little bit more power. During the course of our flights, snacks and beverages will be available. 
good toga power. Oh, we're gonna have to bring down our rate of climb if it doesn't want to. Uh, let's bring down our rate of climb then. Twenty-two hundred feet, feet per minute. We should move to get our speed up. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. All right, let's see what's up with our FMC to see why we're not uh, following that line. Sad. Okay, we're good here. Vector. Now we should be going to jets. All right. Let's see where this thing is taking us. Yeah, this thing is weird. All right, execute. Let's get to jets. Davant. All right, now she's going to jets. Continue our climb. All right, let's bring our speed back. Oh, we crossed 10,000, so actually, I'm going to keep that on toga speed. And we're going to say about 2... 80 for our climb speed. We'll try to match that. This should be good now. All right. Now the flight directors are doing their thing. They're it's heading to jets. And uh, what is this? Let's see here. Okay. Let's bring back our power to climb power. Try to maintain that 280. I really like this plane, guys. Like, this is an amazing plane. That's what it's supposed to do. And I like managing the power. It's not it's not bad at all. Manage the power manu manually. Some nice clouds over Puerto Rico there. It's very stormy. Now 1L. Hello. Russian. Nice. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Guys, do click that subscribe button. Be notified the next time we are flying. Click that thumbs up if you like if you're liking the stream and uh, click subscribe. So St. Croix is somewhere over here. So we're gonna head all the way down southeast to St. Martin. And then we're gonna come back up to St. Croix. And then maybe we'll do another flight after that. Who knows? Somewhere in the United States where uh, I could uh, Test the frames a little bit more on the heavier seas. Oh, so we brought the speed back, but it's still. All right, let's go to idle. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we've crossed 18,000. Standard altimeter 2992. All right, so even on. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right. So the second time we flew this thing and went over speed, that's because we didn't expect this thing to keep pushing. I guess at 2200 feet per minute, it pushes. All right, let's get our speed to halfway. Let's see if it stays. And let's bring it down a little bit more. Oh, that's right. I forgot. When we were flying this thing last time, we should be at about 70, between 75 and 80 and 78 power. So let's see, it's dropping. Let's go back to, I guess, because we're coming up to 21,000. So let's see what happens when we come to 21,000. Stop going over speed, shall we? Speed is okay. It's going up a little bit more, so we just bring it down. Right here. I'm going to get it to like about... Actually, maybe we'll go a little faster. We need a, we need a map point. Seven four. So once we get to twenty one thousand exact, we'll jump our speed up. So we need to be going Mach point seven four or seven two or seven four. I think it's seven four. Let's double check. Seven four. Is that Mach point seven four? Okay, we're already there. Let's the power a little bit more. So, what, 75 and 1? Seems to be okay. She's flying level. The power is good. Oh, 
let me start the recording so we can get the landing. the speed we need to be. I guess not. I thought I saw a purple thing here. Alright, let's increase the speed. Mach 0.74 seems to be over layer over speed. So we're gonna go Mach 0.72 or something. Alright, power down. Back to 75% and one. Go back a little higher. Seventy-five percent, seventy-six percent, seventy-seven. Shows we still have air traffic control in St. Martin. The other aircraft that was on the ground with us, he's ahead of us. There's several aircraft heading to St. Martin, so we gotta watch out, but we do have air traffic control. Um, let's go ahead and jump onto their frequency now so we can hear some chatter. 128.95. Our N1 down a little bit. KLM785, welcome to have you back on board. Clear to the south for the motor to departure. Down there, it's a KLM 785, Rita, correct, report ready for start. Moving down to the lower 76, we want to go over speed. Caribbean 259, uh, Julian approach, hello, reach 5. Oh, I think we're doing good. So we're about 75, 76%. Cleared Kingston via the motor to departure, choose transition, initial climb, flight level 150 and squawk 4545. Okay, so the crossover, the United States Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands. So, some of those guys are on the streams. I'm from here, St. Thomas, United States Virgin Islands. This is uh, St. John. Or did we already pass St. Thomas way back there? Let's see. I can't tell the shape, but that looks like St. Thomas for sure. And that's definitely mountainous St. John. And then we got Tortola all over here. It should be Tortola, yeah. Maybe one second. Caribbean 259 uh, Are you ready for the push in the okay, Yeah, so this is definitely Tortola. St. John, uh, St. Thomas, uh, as I said. Let me see if I can squeeze you in. Uh, push your start approved, no facing west, Q &H, one This one five. over here. Just Van Dyke. I think I've been there before. Borda. 
This is Virgin Gorda. I've been there before as well. Should be an Anagata too. Anagata. Much smaller. Loads, loads, loads. LM162 Whiskey Roger behind the pushing company. Push start approved, QH 1015. We're gonna power up a little bit. Our ground speed is about 438. 450. Alright, top of the scent is marked. Far before Slugo. Thirty five nautical miles from Slugo. Some more top of the set on here. about 73 nautical miles from St. Martin in total. We're coming up to the top of the set pretty fast here. Let me try about some more. If I can read my mind, text you on point Charlie, don't want to All right, let's set our altitude. Please put away larger electronic devices, including laptop computers. Slugo at 13,000. Let's set uh, 13,000. About 10,000. Devices must remain in airplane mode until after we land. Let's top the scent is coming up. Let's bring back our speed. speed by mistake. I didn't want to speed. Okay, starting our ascent. So our descent is before we arrive into TNCM airspace. So we're going to descend on our own. Uh, all an idle. All right, 2,500 feet per minute should be good. Let's get our speed back down to information. Saint Bart. Let's switch to um, Unicom first. And let them know we're descending. Saint Bart traffic, uh, American Eagle 1007 descending down from 502102. 13,000 to Slugo. We're going to expect the Alice approach, uh, sorry, the RNAV approach runway 1 through. Alright, no spoilers needed. We're getting our speed down. Alright, what's our altimeter? 
Uh, Windsor 0 8 0 at 11, so that's not bad in TNTM. Ultimate Q015, let's switch this to HPA. Okay. Okay, we're almost at Slugo. I think we're good. It's that mark shows that we should be just fine at Slugo. And now from Slugo, we go for uh, Slugo down to Avaki, 20, uh, 2600. Uh, I think by then we'll be on air traffic controls airspace, so let's go ahead and jump over to there. Frequency. Uh, is that the right frequency? 12.95. Yep. American 2794, Juliana approach. Good evening, speculator vector for the honor of approach. Runway 10, uh, descent 2600 feet, QNH 1015, proceed direct to Vaki. I'll just bring our power up now that we're leveling off. Caribbean 259 at the wind, 08011, start on the 10 cliff takeoff. Alright, let's continue to descent down to 600. Uh, well, let's get a clearance first. Simart. Simart approach, uh, American Eagle 1007 uh, descending down from 13,000 to 2600 to Avaki. American 1006. Seven, Juliana approach, good evening. Speculate effect is free on us approach, runway one zero. Um, American one zero zero seven, you were descending to. Smart approach, American uh, 1007. Uh, we're going to uh, expect the vectors to our number approach number 10. Descend down to Avaki, uh, crossing 13,000 down to 2600. Roger, American 1007. Sydenham 5186. Are you with me? Let's our speed. Fall on idle. American 1007, turn left, heading 100. Left 100 for American uh, 1007. All right, so we're going to start gonna vectoring because we have a lot of pilots about to land on luck, that sim. All right, 100. Oof. Okay, heading hold. Heading select. All right, so he's vectoring us. All right, so we don't have to descend that fast. Send normal, 2,000 feet per minute. All right, let's bring flaps out, sorry, spoilers out. Get this thing to slow down a little bit. Get under, uh, as we are about to cross 10,000 landing lights on. I never turned them off, did I? Nope, I never turned off, turned off any of the lights. Missed all those light procedures. Canada 1 2 Charlie turn left, heading 1 4 0. Alright, spoilers back in. Speed back up to 2 5 0. Monitor the throttle. Now let's give it a little bit of power. Not too much power. I was turn off the music because we crossed ten thousand. We have a lot of people. A lot of people landing in uh, 
Hey, Fred, sir. It's Martin right now, guys, so... Uh, we are ready to taxi at your, uh, at your pleasure, KLM 162. Uh, Roger, that's KLM 162, Whiskey, taxi holding point, Charlie, runway 10. Holding point, Charlie, uh, runway 10, KLM. We're on idle, or a little above idle. Caribbean 259er, Roger identified. Let's continue down to 2600. Or at least down to 4000. 3000 should be good. 3500 about, let's do that. Uh, let's continue on the set. Two nine in the wind zero eight zero one one knots runway one zero cleared for takeoff. So I'm on idle. And all stations, all stations due to a heavily increasing thunderstorm, I have to close down. Apologies. Hmm. It's okay. Yeah, uh, thank you for the service. Uh, it's been uh, the best I've ever received. Uh, all the flutes. Kilim seven eight five. Thank you, Juliana. Approach is closing. Bye bye. Shit, this guy really right. is closing in the middle of all this chaos. Alright. Shit. Alright, back to the car. Alright, so Martin Traffic, that was an unexpected close. We gotta try to manage each other getting in here. It's all of us. Okay, let's see where they're at, and uh, let's try to give them some room. I'm going to turn back. All right, let's maintain three thousand six five hundred and head back. Keep our speed up so we can get back there. All right, so let's see who's here. We're going to let um, the guy, the A320 land first. Um, and then we have an American aircraft lining up. And we have another uh, Air Canada aircraft lining up, A321, and another A320. So I'm going to have to probably be the last guy. Let's see if we see them here in the TCAS. Do I have traffic on? Let's see what we got here. Let's zoom in. Oh, this is going to be close. Let's bring our speed back. Totally was going way above speed there. Wasn't paying attention. Let's see. I don't know if we could cut in the front of these people. Ooh, that's going to be close. This is going to be close, ladies and gentlemen. What do we do? What do we do? It's going to be, I mean, I'll even allow the guy to have time to land. 
All right, let's turn right. I think we're going to line up behind of them. We're too close to him. Remember to manage the speed in this plane. Okay, then. This is Juliana Traffic. Uh, so we got three aircrafts lined up. I see American and uh, Air Canada. I guess I'll try to line up behind you, behind of you guys. Air traffic control had me turn uh, left 100 coming south. He already vectored me, uh, and then it put me too close to you guys now. I should have been uh, right behind the uh, SUR 5186. Now I'm jumping around. Um, let's see here. All right, guys, we're just trying to land, and he's got a vector. Air Canada, Air, Air Canada is going to have to vector because the American aircraft is right in front of him. So if he's going to vector, then I'm going to have to go. I'm just going to keep going out to the west. Let's see what the altitudes are at. They're 5,000 feet and 3,000 feet. So I need to stay. I'm already, I'm already north of them. They're like here. Oh shoot, we got traffic. Okay, I see that traffic. Yeah, they're way above me, and then another aircraft. All right, we got to turn around because um, else we're going to end up being behind this other British Airways aircraft. Shoot, which I think is already past us. Let's see. Uh, oh, damn it, mouse. Uh, British Airways, potential. Do you guys want me to hold British Airways two seven five? If you could please uh, go on a hold here, yeah, because I'm trying to line up behind the Air Canada aircraft, and uh, I see that you're crossing me right now as I'm about to turn around. All right, so he's messaging the Br the British Airways aircraft is messaging. Uh, FedEx is going to do a pattern for aircraft testing. Uh, I don't see the FedEx aircraft. Where is the FedEx aircraft? FedEx. Uh, okay. All right, we're still heading out, guys. Okay, I'm going to... We're quite a bit out. I'm going to turn around now. I hope that's enough. And we're going to do a slow down. And that should help us as well. Go down to 220. Or 210. Head back to Avaki. Alright, direct to Lesser, fine. Uh, 
nav on, let it find its way there on its own. All right. Okay, speed. Alright, so we're going to maintain this altitude. We're heading back to the runway. So we have uh, the American aircraft. It should be landing soon. He's on final. We have the uh, Canada aircraft. And the British Airways is going to do two holes. So if it's enough. Alright, let's slow down even more. Our speed down to 190. Okay. Throttle up. Okay, so we have the American. Looks like he's about to land or landed. About to land. The Air Canada is ahead of us, and we have some space in between the Air Canada. The British Airways is circling around. All right, let's get down to 2600. This is Juliana Traffic, uh, American Eagle 1007. We're heading back towards Avaki at 2600. Yes, 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 yes. I'll cap. All right, I think we have a good spacing. The British Airways aircraft is no longer in our way. Let's see what our landing reference speeds are. Uh, performance. Okay, so uh, speed plus five, one, three, two, one, three, nine. I have to send it past where I wanted it to be. Let's see what this thing is doing because it's nosing up and it's doing this altitude thing again. Should be staying at 2600, so let's see what it's trying to do. We need to 
a couple more flaps just to see what it does. Alright, the American aircraft landed, the other aircraft before him landed. Which was 275. Guys, let's increase the speed. Let's try to get in as fast as possible. Jonah Traffic, uh, American 1007 on final runway 1 through. On final runway 10. We have some space. Okay, the British Airways is at three, around the same altitude as us. That's not good. Shit, he's really close to us. That British Airways aircraft was so close to us. We're at the exact same altitude. All right, we're keeping our speed up so we can get in there faster. We have another American aircraft on its oof. More speed. Down to 1700. Uh, 785 is uh, departing runway 10. Down to 1700. Let's keep our speed up. Gear down. I don't see the British Airways, but he's right around us, guarantee. Let's uh, double check where we have our um, settings to. We will just see him quite a bit out. Uh, 10 nautical miles. Don't see the aircraft. Oh, that just changed the performance. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? I'm going to change that back. Holy crap. 5 nautical miles. That's fine. Thank you very much. Bring back our speed. Laps. Does anyone know San Juan Control?
Full flaps. All right, autopilot off. Oh my gosh, mouse stop. Jesus. Okay, let's get our trim set. Oh, our speed is way too low. Imagine speed. It's messing with our trim, though. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Jesus. Speed is killing me. Stop. <laughs> trim. Come on, let's go. We got it. So we got to get used to this speed, guys. This is throttle. Four. Yes, 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 I know. Ah, oh, the speed moves so fast. Come on, trim. Jesus. And the power seems to be not right. Reverse thrust, moves down. All right, let's backtrack right away. Reverse thrust, disengage. Yeah, I don't. I think the reference speeds are off. Like it feels like it's going way too fast, and it says it should be one three nine. I don't trust that. This is Juliana Traffic, American 1007 backtracking, runway 10. What's up with that pause? Oh my gosh, what the hell is this? Bro. Why is it paused? Oh my gosh. The sim has froze. Jeez, what the hell was that? Right, let's get off this uh, runway as soon as possible. Vacated runway one zero princess Juliana traffic from American Eagle tens or so. Jesus, that pause was ridiculous. I think we forgot to arm spoilers though. Unless they came out and I didn't realize, but I don't remember. Uh they're an auto, so. Okay, let's turn off our landing lights, all that good stuff. Strobes off, wing off. All right, APU. Let's get that going. Oh, what's up with these pauses? Where are we going today? Okay, so we got aircrafts here at the gates. I take it they won't want them to take a big fat gate. So we'll use the steps. A lot of big aircrafts coming in. So we won't take the big gates from them. Now the British Airways aircraft that held for us, he should be coming in. 
Let's see if you could see him, because it's not... It should be showing him up, and it's not showing him. Our APU started up. I don't see him. Huh. Got quite a bit of gates, gates here available, actually. I'm gonna be fine. Got aircraft pushing back here, better watch out. Let's go around him. Okay, taxi lights off. Parking here at Alpha 2 for American Tender Zone. American you might have to go around for a bit of the perch because I've only just landed and I'm barely going to be able to. So I can't see his plane, so something's wrong with him, I'll imagine or something. Little one, stay back. Brakes on. Utilize APU gen. And engine gen's off. Okay. And then engine off. TCAS on standby. Hydraulics. Symbol signs off. Peeking off. Okay. Let's get some ground power. Let's get the jetway connected. Baggage. Okay. Ground power. Oh, we got to put on the chocks first. Ground power. Cargo doors open and main doors open. See, I can't see him. All right, so shows he's on the runway. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm having I'm always having problems with the Boeing 738 model matching. And I just every time I come into the sim it's either worse. Like before you used to at least do a one livery, but now it's doing no liveries. I can't see it. It should be here. So I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and deboard the plane. are coming off. <laughs> Thanks, bad truck. For ripping a hole through my fuselage. All right, since we landed negative 87 feet per minute, I'm just going to get used to that speed management on landing.
passengers already boarding. Set up here to go St. Croix. Okay, so for the next flight, we'll leave our APU. Oh, we should be using ground power actually. Um, damn it, it's available. So, why are they automatically going in use? All right, I'm going to shut down the APU. We're going to have to refuel. Pumps off. Okay, we have to align the IRS again because that shut off, but that's fine. That works out for us anyway. All right, let's set up here to go to the next uh, waypoint. They're going to sink right now. Position the aircraft. Okay, performance. We're going to put in the right fuel and all the good stuff. All right, uh, we're here in TNCM. And on to the next one. We're going to TISX for the first time in the simulator in a new airport. Newly made airport. Okay, let's get our sim brief here. Let's save that recording. We'll watch it later. TNS, TI, TJSJ to TNCM. CRJ7. Save that and we'll watch that later. Oof, I'm hot. In a second here, let's switch. Okay. Switch up this AC a little bit more. This light makes me hot. That's shining on me. I don't know why it's 77 degrees in here when I have it on 76. I can turn it off 75. It's long sleeve and a uh, shirt. This long sleeve shirt and um, this uh, my hot computer below me doesn't help. All right, everything is good. We can't see any Boeing 737s, which sucks. So <clears throat> we saw the Airbus. So until the PMDG comes out, my model matching for a 738 will not work correctly. So I gotta just gotta wait till we get a, a better 738 out, and I'll just use that for the model matching, and it'll be perfect. We'll have. Everything beautifully ready for bat sim once 738 is a good model. Uh, I don't know why. It was working for me before, and now it just, I don't know, it's just broken. And I didn't do anything to the 738. And I'm, let me double check my folder. It's in there. 738. It's in there. I don't know what's up with it. Huh. I don't know. Okay. I'll delete the CVT folder, maybe. Get rid of it. Put it somewhere it's for backup. 738, seven, where are you? 738 default. Just put it in there and get it out. We'll fit out the works. Disconnect. Reconnect again to that sim. Okay. New flight, so we're still American. Same flight number. And we're going from TNCM to TISX. Same aircraft. Play some music while we're doing this. CRJ7, 1,000 pounds of extra fuel. And about the same altitude back, but 22,000. Runway 10 to runway 10. We'll have a little bit more passengers on this flight, uh, 67. Uh, 
2,000 pounds of cargo, uh, maybe like 1.2. And the route is going to be Modor 2 to Gouda to R760 to Koi. Sure. And let's generate that. Okay. All right, so we're at Alpha Gate Alpha 2. Not sure what gate we're going to. And um, runway heading, altitude, we're going to fly level 220. So I'm just putting all these nodes, departure frequency, squad 4505. And then, uh, all right, so we see the route. Okay, let's download that. Plan load. Just want to sync Croy. Let's grab that flight plan here. Paste. Paste it here as well. Okay, that's set up, that's set up. What else we got? All right, so we're going to be departing in about uh, 15 minutes. So let's just say uh, 550, so uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 21, 21, 50. I think of two, uh, which is 11, uh, so yeah, 21, 21, 50, is that right? That sounds wrong, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I did 22, five. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21. Yeah, it's 21. Oh, I thought I was looking at something else. Uh, 2155, let's just be a little sure. Um, 18,000, I did not select 18,000. This thing is making up stuff now. Make sure this is the right thing. All right, I select 22,000, thank you very much. Let me double check the route now because I didn't, I put 20,000. And it's saying 18,000, no. But I typed in 20,000. Give me my 22,000. Is there a limit? Let's see what this thing is doing. Still says 18. I'm going to try this one more time. Uh, make sure I did it right. 2 2. All right, maybe there's a limit at 18,000. Let's try one more time. Then we'll just stick to 18,000, whatever. All right, 18,000 it is, chief. Okay, file plan, file on fat sim. We're leaving at 2150 hours, Zulu. Uh, let's go to our map. Flight planning, load sim brief. We fly now, get our fuel, we're going to put that in, passengers 67, okay, scroll down, passengers, payload 1.2, okay, last thing is to set up the passenger program, so much to set up for every flight. Now we're going to where you want to go, St. Croix. I'm going to change the settings to output max quality. Let's see if that changes the stream up, quality of the stream. Okay, where are we now? Sim brief, did that, da, 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 that's done. 
And, oh, flight setup, passenger. Okay, got all the stuff I did before. This time it's 67 passengers. Uh, use sim reflight. Boom. Uh, did anything change? Nope, TNT MTSA, verify route. Should be a 21 minute flight, guys. Oof, that was almost exact, accurate. All right, start passenger program. All right. Passenger program has started. Okay. Let's just put in the fuel and we're done. All right, so. We're going to put in 67 passengers. Uh, cargo total is 1.2. So let's put in more in the rear, of course. Make sure it's balanced. So 1,200. Hmm, I'm going to put in, put in 900 and 300. Uh, this is equal right now. Fuel is 7,500. Oh, damn it. I do that every time. Okay, 7,500. Uh, payload should be 16,600. 16, Let me see if I do set. I don't know why it does that. Let me see something here. Payload. First of all, no. 300 for the pallets together. Forward put it down. Two pallets, the pallets together. And then, um, so we need a max pillow of uh, 16,600. I'm going to change it anyway, so I'm going to have to do this first. And do this after. Let's go. Yeah. It's going to drop it tremendously if I do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this sim is retarded. It's so stupid that that shit instantly changes. It's so fucking stupid. Oh my gosh. You make a mistake and it just goes berserk. Come back here. This is why we do it before we load the passengers. Because of stupidity like that. Let me see if I do this now. What happens? So payload is 11,000 now. Let me see what it shows here. Yeah. So it just doesn't match. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand this. <sighs> ZF. You know what? Let's just do it to this. ZFW should be 60. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep doing that? I keep doing it. I must be crazy or something. Wait. Oh, that's right. Leave that alone. Um, Halo is still off. So that's right. Oof. Okay, let me do this again and see what happens. I don't know what gets it to be exact. I don't even care about if it's flight attendant, whatever. Just get to the number I want. 166. Okay, I don't care. Just even the thing out. Uh, fuel is seventy five hundred. That's right. But let me see if I click this again. What happens? Sir? Now it's correct ZFW. Oh, because this needs to. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening.
I can't get the payload to match, guys. I just can't. This is 6600. In it fuel from aircraft. See, they match 7500. I just can't get the payload. Let's put it back one more time. 60. Yeah. Whatever. Now he's going to get the Mac. Oh my gosh, it keeps doing this, guys. Sorry, we're just trying to learn this thing here. It's the only thing that we haven't figured out. How it goes from the sim. The Mac is way too high. And I can't get it to match with this. Why is it not? It's changing in the plane, is it? The plane is changing. Whatever I'm doing here should set in the plane and change here. So if I go like this, I go like this, it should work. This number should change. I just don't think this works right. So I just had it and I screwed it up. Damn it. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's so off. And we can't, I don't want to fly like this and it screws it up. CG is 33. That is high. What other parameters are there? There's nothing else I could change. I don't know. All right, let's try this one more time. And not touch the fuel page. Oh, that helps. And I think it's going to change the ZFW again. Yeah. Oh, that stayed. Huh. See, when I do the ZFW, the cargo just changes. I see what it's doing. Whatever. Whatever. So I like the lower number, so I'm going to stick with the lower number and I'm not touching it again. Because that's what I want. That's what the plane should have in. See, MZFW is almost correct, but the ZFWCG, whatever. Copy to FMS. Set all. All right. Okay, are we ready to start boarding passengers? Jetway's connected. All right, let's get the bags in. And let's stop this music for now. Just a tricky thing, this uh, simulator here. I'm back. It's NCD Synchro. Yes. Thank you for coming back, Kevin. All right. So let's uh, get the bags in. Oh, we would have to press it a second time? I'm amazed by that. All right, um, uh, we don't need to do catering again. We could call a fuel truck. I don't even know if it's gonna come. Uh, what else we got? Doors are open, right? Yes, they are. Ready for the passengers. Okay, let's start boarding. All right, passengers are boarding. All right, now we're gonna put in the uh, FMC information. Everything else is good up top. All right. I think we're good there. Let me make sure nothing's broken from this plane lifting up in the air and down. Uh, we're aligned. That's good. That's a good sign. And yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's jump down here. Okay. That's all good. Yes. 1,200. Yes, yes, yes. 18,000. Okay. Boom. VNAV setup. That's all good. And uh, yeah. So we're good there. Uh, let's just double check here where the aircraft's position. That's good. All right. So everything is all good. And then we're just going to depart out of runway 10. I'm going to do Modar 2. Gouda transition from the SID uh, to Gouda. Execute that. 
I'm gonna fly plan next pay. <laughs> I click next. You see me click this all the time on this day, guys. You know why? Because I'm thinking I'm in, a, I'm in a Boeing FMC. Next page is way over there. All right. So our Romeo 760 is the airway that's going to Koi. Okay, let me enter this down. Okay, and then so we're gonna go Koi, and we're not doing our arrival. And then we're just gonna go execute, and then arrival. We're not doing a, a star. So star. Okay, right, let's roll with ten. And it is a transition. So, Koi, execute, and that should be a simple flight plan, right? Modar to Gouda to um, Koi. All right, we got two Koi's. So let's get, let's get rid of one of the Koi's. And yeah, whatever all that means. Uh, it isn't, um, it's weird, another ST. It's another ST here. Huh. Okay, interesting. All right, the baggages are in. Welcome Welcome to board. Board. All right, passengers have finished boarding. Please Baggage please is please almost done. Turn on your fuel. Turn on our fuel. I'm trying to speak. My mouth is getting dry. Speed pumps on. Let's start the APU. Please, please let, let us, us know. know. I don't know why I hit that because there's no reason for it. Uh... APU door is closed. I can see that. And why is that? Um, okay. See both signs on. Okay, let's see who we got on the ground. Not too much planes here anymore. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's see if we get this APU started. All right. Ah, did I just stop it from starting? I think I stopped it from starting. There we go. All right, so maybe that's the, the flap for the door. Maybe it's uh, huh. all right. I don't know why this doesn't light up, but I had it clicked from the last um, route, and I think I clicked it again. Let's see. Uh, shit, what am I doing? All right, APU starting up. Okay. All right, let's walk to the flight plan pretty quickly here. All right, let's close the main doors. Let's close the cargo. Um, shows connected, but it's really disconnected. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our APU gen first. Make sure we're using that. We're going to click connect here on the power just to bring it over. And then we're going to disconnect it in the, in the, the panel. So I, that's, that's me tricking it to sync it up. All right, so now that we're using APU power, right? Yes, 100%. Let's get rid of that. Boom, and it should go away. Ha! When it comes to glitches, I am the one to figure them out. All right. Okay, this is closed. Let's remove the chocks. Now, no longer have to worry about that. Camera light should be bright. I forgot this plane, you have to, you have to turn them up. So it's probably dark the entire flight, right? Okay, I wish you could remove the jetway from here, but let's just do it here. Jetway disconnect. Takes a while to engage there. All right, and then we're gonna call the pushback truck. But we're gonna walk through the flight plan here quickly. Pretty straight route, it looks like. Uh, let's see, let's start at the beginning. Let's switch to plan. Let's zoom in. I guess we're zoomed in all the way. All right, so we go to motor. Let's zoom out. Motor to Gouda. Let's zoom in to uh, Koi. Uh, what's going on here? Hmm. 
Koi to ST to P turn to and to Kov P. So let's see what's going on here and what we have to remove. I feel like the ST is incorrectly placed here. Uh, so is the P turn. All oh, this is not supposed to be here. So let's go Kov P. Yeah, ST at 24 engine. No. So Kov P, let's remove that. Let's remove that. And let's remove that. Execute. Okay, so we have Koi to Kov P. Oh, wrong. Are we going the wrong way? Koi to Kov P to ST. Oh, I'm going the wrong way now. To Kov P to ST to runway 10. Oh, it just jumps back. I guess that's, I'm already on runway 10. Okay, so we're good. Um, switch that back to that. Zoom in all the way. And let's call the pushback truck. We are learning. Uh, is everything out the way? Okay, let's start pushback. Thank you for your attention. It's time to get you ready to Alright, beacon light on. Hydraulics you know on. So thanks for choosing American. We're happy to be your airline. Now if you'll just follow along with me, we'll be on our way. Hey, truck, what you doing? Don't make me tell you twice. This is Julian. Traffic uh, American Eagle 1007 pushing back here at Alpha 2. We'll be taxiing to uh, runway 10. We'll taxi to runway 10 via Alpha for American Eagle 1007. Our parking brake off. And let's get moving. All right, let's get ready to start these engines. Bleeds are all good. Isolation okay, valve is open. And um, let's go ahead and engine uh, ignition and start the right engine. All right, engine is starting up. Right, let's push back here on Alpha. Go faster. Okay. All right. All I needed to do was tap it. So now I remember that for the next time, so I don't have to like try to move it up. It's just gonna tap it, and it goes up automatically. Starts the engine. All right, we have engine start. Learning and learning. Just can't wait for more new planes. Like when I when I jump into Boeing when it comes out, the seven three eight, that's gonna be a walk in the park. I've flown that plane a million times. In the event of an evacuation, escape path lighting will appear. Follow the lights until you've reached your exit. Leave all carry-ons behind. Just head quickly and safely to the nearest exit. Brakes on and, and push back. All right, they've cleared. Now and the engine is optim optimal. Let's go ahead and start left engine. Seated with your seatbelt fastened, pull down on the mask or the red streamer to extend the tubing. Left engine starting. Yep. And slip the band over your head to secure the mask to your face. The band adjusts automatically. 
And we're departing on time. And remember to always put your own mask on first before helping others. Mm-mm. Life vests are located either under, next to, or between your seat. To remove the vest, pull the tab or compartment handle to break the seal. For help locating them, see your safety card. Remove the vest from okay. the package like this. And put tap. the vest over your head. Wrap the oh, I gotta push it tap. A little, a little upward force. All right, left engine started. Starting. In the water, a light in your vest will illuminate. And please, only invite your vest outside the airplane. All right. Gen 2 on. Gen 1 on. Let's make sure we have full power. Then we'll turn off APU gen, then APU, then ignition. After takeoff, we'll be back with more information. And if you need anything, don't and all of our yaw dampers and uh, mock trim and everything should be on already from the last flight. And the video stated, ladies and gentlemen, the flight attendants will be in the cabin to do one last safety check before our departure. So please make sure that your seat backs are in the upright position. All right, we're good to go. Your tray tables are sold. Your seat belts are fast. If you gen off. AP you off. Lights on taxi. Let's go. Brakes off. Here's the Juliana traffic, American Eagle 1007. We are taxiing to runway 10 via Alpha. All right, let's set flaps. Two notches down. Okay. Now right, let's check by controls. Pull left. Pull right. Sangwang Center is online. Interesting. Oh, we have air traffic control. Let's hold short. Okay, we have ATC 111.15. Hey. Wait, what? 118.15. What am I talking about? Okay. Blackfin 488, are you able to departure from intersection, Charlie? All right, TCAS uh, on. Ignition off. Blackfin 48, Roger. Have to be passing Boeing 727, taxi to one point Charlie, runway 10. Full file line 727 to holding point Charlie at 10 for Blackfin 48. Sangwang uh, Center, American Eagle 1007 here. We're uh, taxiing to runway 10 here, Princess Juliana. Let's see what our trims need to be. Station calling confirm American Eagle uh, 1007. Yeah, American uh, 10, uh, American Eagle 1007, uh, San Juan Center. 4.6 trim. American hey. Eagle 1007. A copy of DC clearance. I was an American Eagle 1007 now. Uh, request of IFR clearance to St. Croix this afternoon. It's going to get an IFR clearance, guys. Yeah, damper. Mark on 1007, you occur to the Henry Rawlson Airport, providing motor to departure. Good transition as filed. Maintain flight level 150, squawk 4507. 4507. Someone said, would that be our final cruising altitude, 150, for American Eagle 1007? American 
ten zero seven negative maintain five level one five zero initially. Roger, we are clear for St. Croix as files in order to uh, departure good transition. We're going to come and maintain 15,150 and uh, expect uh, 50180 for a final. Squawk 4507, uh, departure frequency with you with uh, for American Eagle 1007. American Eagle 1007, rebound correct. QNH 1015. Taxi to holding point Alpha runway 10. Taxi to holding point. Uh, uh, runway one zero to runway one zero via Alpha for American Tango Seven. Okay, uh, one zero one five. That's correct. Let's go. The departure flight heading one eight zero. Clear for takeoff runway one zero. Wind zero eight zero at ten one zero. We will fly heading one eight zero for takeoff one zero runway one zero for flight ten forty eight. All right, so ATC came on, which is perfect, and uh, we have to get our clearance, and uh, that's fine. We want air traffic control. Our, uh, we got our clearance. We're good to go. We're taxi to the holding point. We're good to go. All right, let's pray for a better, uh, better uh, landing. I mean, we landed smooth. We always land smooth, but the approach is always iffy. I want to be able to come down perfectly into the runway this time, manage our speed, our have the right um, flaps, everything. And we need to get our frequencies for, um, or I think we passed the holding point. We, get a, we need to get our frequencies uh, set up for uh, ILS and try to ILS approach again. Uh, so, wrong light. Strobes on, wing light on, and landing lights on. Okay. Oh, sure, we're 10 for American Eagle 1007. American Eagle 1007, squawk 4507, line up on right runway 10. Roger at uh, 4507, uh, we're lining up on 1010, American Eagle 1007. Breaks off. Zoom out a little bit here. Black fin four eighty eight radar contact. All you people on the beach ready? You guys ready for this? Aha. Gotta be ready. Black fin 488, roger, turn left heading 130. Left heading 130, black fin 48. American Eagle 1007, clear for takeoff runway 10. Wind 080 at 10. 080 at 10, clear for takeoff runway 10. American Eagle 1007. 10, 080 at 10, clear for takeoff runway 10. American Eagle 1007. V1 is 133. Rotate 133. November 787, Romeo Alpha, descend and maintain 4000. I expect the ILS runway 10 approach. Just double check, make sure everything else is good. Gas is on. Okay. Uh, correct squawk in. Let's go. 50% throttle. Down one center, Delta one three zero is at flight level thirty four zero. All right, we need speed of one three three. Coming up, Delta one uh, thirty. Sun one center. V one rotate three zero. V two. Squawk four. Three three zero delta. Are we gonna set our altitude? How's the rate gear up? All right. 
Take that right turn. Nav on. Okay, let's start altitude. Alright, 15,000 set. Crossing 2,400 for American Eagle 1007. American Eagle 1007, roger. Set our trim here. Okay. Set those flight directors. Bring our power down, flaps up. Delta 130 radar contact, 11 miles inbound, Elopo, flight level 340. Descend. Bring our nose down a little bit. Descend and maintain 150, Delta 3, 130. November 787, Romeo Alpha, the airport is at your 3 o'clock position, 5 miles report inside. Airport sign, November 787, Romeo Alpha. I want to climb around 3,000 feet per minute. Alpha 787, Romeo Alpha, clear visual approach, runway 10. All right, let's follow flight director. Okay. Bring back speed a little bit. American 10, correction, American Eagle 1007. All right, turn direct, Gouda. Climb and maintain flight level 180. I right, turn direct to Gouda, climb maintain 50180 for American Eagle 1007, thank you. Bring back our speed a little bit more. Alright, let's set here direct Gouda. Execute. Blackfin 488, the airport is at your right. 11 o'clock position. Zoom out here, make sure everything is good. And let's go uh, autopilot on, nav. Blackfin 488, Roger, cleared visual approach into the St. Bart's Airport. All right, let's set speed. Two five zero for now, three across 10,000. Hey, and San Juan Center, uh, Zetcha 122, uh, do we have a, uh, are we landing east or west? All right, we turn off our landing lights as we brought across 10,000, uh, taxi light and wing light. Strobe, I turned I you on. This thing bounces when you use the mouse. Uh, Very annoying. All right. Choice. Everything else is good? All right. Uh, I think we're, we're uh, ready to go for uh, two things. I think that might be best. Uh, or power. Let's get the speed up to 280. All right. Power up. Toga power. During the course of our flight, snacks and beverage will be available. If at any given point you wish to sleep under the surf, we do ask that you kindly display all fastened seatbelts on the outside of all garments or blankets. So as your crew all right, so our altitude to 18,000. And tell you to see yourself at what happens when the results of having to wait to be in four flights with the new fans for your cooperation. I have a clearance to Washington, too. Okay. Everything is very smooth in this aircraft. We're doing very good. All right, climbing at about 3,000 feet per minute. Uh, 1,200 feet per minute. And um, we're about to get on the line. And we're heading direct to Gouda now. Uh, via nav. Alright, let's bring back the power. Oh. Blackfin for Hatch 280. Uh, radar service is terminated. Report cancellation. Power more. Let's see what our power is at. Three, five, and one. Alright, let's bring it back down. Okay, manual power. 81. 80 and 1. Okay, that seems to be doing good. 
Delta 130, turn left heading 280, vectors for the RNAV approach runway 10. Alright, let's bring our power back up. Heading 280, vectors for the RNAV 10, Delta 130. Move it back down, the power. Okay, we're coming up to our cruising altitude, which is 18,000. Signal signs off. Oh shoot, speed climbs fast as soon as we get to cruising altitude. Alright, speed back up. Let's see where we keep it. Just every time we go over speed, every single time. Alright, too much, too much, too much. Too much. Blackfin 48, Roger, cancellation received, time uh, 2216. Alright, let's keep our N1 at around 77. 76. Should be where it wants to be normally. 75, N1. Okay, disarm, reverse thrust. So climb, reverse thrust off, we just did that, bleeds and APU. APU should have been off, off. Before landing, or descent. Power seems to be good. Shouldn't be climbing too much to bring it back down. Exact jet 122 to center maintain 3000. Center maintain 3000, exact jet 122. Alright, we're turning at Gouda. We need to be at Koi at 11,000, but he'll let us know into the descent, hopefully. Top of the scent is marked anyway. We're not that high, so to get from to 18,000 to 11,000 here, it's not bad at all. Delta 130, descend and maintain 5,000, QNH 1016. Water, where are you? Need it. Descend and maintain 5,000, QNH 1016. Delta 130. Correct.
1348, ferry back correct. Expect runway 10 for departure, QR correction, altimeter 29907. Advise ready for pushback. Ready 10 for departure, we'll contact you when ready for pushback. Uh, the blue 34. The 130 turn right heading 050. Turn right heading 050, Delta 130. We're almost going up to the top of the scent, guys. Eagle 1007, when ready, descend and maintain 10,000. Something at a 29906. Roger, when uh, we're ready, we we'll descend down to 10,000. Altimeter 2996 for American Eagle 1007. All right, it says 11,000 at Corey, so we're going to use that first instead of our full clearance at 10,000. And we'll wait till we cross top of the scent. We'll trust the computer. So I see both sides here. Prepare to come in here for the scent. All right, let's time to descend. We back to speed. We will be landing soon. I keep doing that. All right, the same time now. And I meant to click this. Two eight zero. It's all on idle. Blackfin four eight eight. Someone sent to have your All right, altimeter is two nine nine six. Blackfin 488, activated Princess Juliana Airport via radar vectors. Maintain 3000, score 4520. Alright, we are descending into St. Croix for the first time. Please, Hope our charts see if we can find our, our nav uh, Alice information. Okay, we pulled up our flight. Blackfin 488, to read back correct. Okay. You're ready for departure. Report airborne. And this frequency. Pull up the runway 10. Where is the approaches? LS runway 10. Alright, we should be at Coy 11,000. 
Let's just send a little faster there, Chief. Declared direct Avaki. Oh, they sent across Avaki at 2,600. Declared to Avaki. Cross Avaki at... Oh, uh, I guess we don't have to send that fast. Let's see. Uh, let's see where it takes us here. Uh, that's about right. Yep, 24. Bring the throttle up a little bit. All right, let's run through our checklist here quickly. Approach briefing. I see here TISX localizer 109.5. Make sure everything is good here first. We might have to throttle a little bit. Zero nine point five. So that happened to be there already. Um, then approach course is ninety seven. Delta one thirty cleared on of approach runway one zero. All right. Cleared on of approach runway one zero. We're about to cross over Saint Croix, or we have already crossed over. Yep. We're going to go out, come back, and come back into the runway. Runway's around here. Now you turn and come back in. Ho ho! Chill, Lightning. Eagle 1007, turn right heading 1, correction. Turn right heading 280, vectors for the ILS, runway 10 approach. These are going to maintain 3000. 280 vectors for the ILS, 10 uh, approach. Uh, maintain 3000 for uh, American Eagle 1007. All right, 280. Heading. All right, so he's going to guide us in. I guess he's not going to make us go all the way out there. All right, direct Philo for Exegia 122. Let's bring back our speed. Looking for you. We're airborne. 50 is going to. He wants to come down to 10,000, so let's come to you to descend. Heading to 300. I don't want you to control my speed. Thank you very much. Down to 10,000. Black Fin 488, radar contact passing 1100. Uh, landing lights at 11,000 as you're about to cross 10,000. Wing light on. Okay, we're about to be parallel of the runway. And there we are. Double thirteen forty eight runway one zero taxi via hotel. All right, let's descend down to three thousand. Uh, runway one zero taxi right. via hotel thirteen forty eight. Exact jet one twenty two cross silo at or above. 1,600. Let's arm reverse. Plus reversers. Versers. Okay. Bring out spoilers just a little bit. Devices must remain in airplane mode until after we land. We will be landing soon. Uh, more Lockfin 488, expect a visual approach runway 10, QNH 1016. Expect a visual 10 for Blackfin 48. Okay, and now 3000. And we're going to swing back in. So cold fee we belong at uh, 2,000 it seems and 1,500 at Pesty. Yeah, 2,000 at Kobe. Uh, yeah, 1,500 here at Pesty. Am 
Marketing Eagle 10 zero seven turn right heading 300. Right, 300 American 10 zero seven. I don't know why, but right, let's bring back our speed to the 220. Enter your 1348, ready for takeoff. Let's uh, decrease our rate of descent so we could uh, get our speed down instead of using more spoilers. Okay, speed dropping down. Holding short runway one zero. Traffic will be arriving runway two six. Steven, the sports guy, is on autopilot. We're using autopilot and we're manually, con manually controlling the speed. Yeah, we're, you know, we're setting everything here. Instead of turning man manually and going up and down, we're just u utilizing the autopilot here. Um, using heading hold, heading three. select to turn us to where we want to go. Uh, altitude and the V speed is vertical speed. Right, we're coming down to 3000. Alright, let's go. Laps 8. Alright, we're at 3000. Let's bring up some throttle. Keep our throttle up. Spoilers in. Okay. Let's bring our throttle back. Back, back, back. There we go. There's no other aircraft around here. I'm not, I'm not sure why he's vectoring. Not to land one zero. Not swing back. We should be heading back in. <laughs> Look how far out he's taking. Jeez, guys. Eagle 1007, turn left, heading 170. Left 170, American Eagle 1007. So he's pretty much turning us back to Cove P, where we'll be, uh, we need to be at, right, let's pick up our speed. We gotta, we gotta remember this, guys. Manage the speed manually. We gotta be looking at that speed all the time. Make sure it's that arrow, that white arrow is on the purple. Mark, Eagle 1007, you are seven miles from Cove P. The left heading 130, maintain 3000 until established on the localizer. Clear the ILS runway 10 approach. Uh, we are at 7 nanical miles from Cove P, uh, left 130. Uh, we're going to uh, maintain 3000 until on the localizer. Clear for the ILS approach uh, runway 10, American Eagle 1007. Executive 122, runway 26. When right, so he's taking us to Kofi. Let's go ahead and in our oh, let's bring back our speed. We'll bring back our speed to two one zero, so we can maintain a little better. And the flaps down to two hundred. Uh, two hundred five. That's good. Speed up. Okay. Keep it like round there. Sixty five and one. A little back back down. Sixty three and one. 62 and 1. Hello. Let's see. 59 looks good. All right, let's go direct to Cove P. That's what it's doing anyway. It isn't allowing me to go direct to Cove P. Okay. That's we're already there. So once we get across Cove P, we'll have to go direct to ST. American 2295, Sound 1 Center Squad 4367. All right, let's get our altitude down. Uh, let's see. ST, we need to be at 1400. So let's get our altitude down to 2000. Lock fin 488, turn right heading 050. Right heading 050, black fin 48. He wants us to maintain 3000. Delta 130, welcome to Juliana. Continue back track for runway 10. Vacate via Delta and taxi to gate of choice. Uh, I think it would be okay. an echo, but I'll talk to the Turn. Thanks, Delta 130. Let's go direct to ST. Roger, no worries. Let's turn back on the nav. Direct to ST. Should work. Blackfin 48, the field is at shore, 1 o'clock position, 8 miles report inside. Alright, let's bring our speed back. 
Black Sin 488. 180. Visual approach runway 10. Alright, flaps. Let's see if this works. Uh, we're going to switch to. Heading mode, which we are. Uh, we're gonna park DFB Heading mode, on, uh, and then let's switch number. to localizer, and the course is 97, I believe. Executed 122, Roger, welcome to Puerto Rico. The, the course, Taxi, uh, two course is 97, uh, and let's go ahead and hit approach. Uh, we should be descending. Yep. Start the I don't think it's locking on correctly. Okay, let's see, it's turning back. Okay, let's see if it locks on, guys. It's a little scary, but I want to make sure this thing works. Marcan Eagle 1007, wind 070 at 10, runway 10, clear to land. Clear the land runway one zero American Eagle Tender Seven. Yeah, I don't think this thing is uh, catching the localizer here. So let's uh, watch what we're doing here. Let's bring back our speed. Uh, speed. Speed. Twenty two ninety five. Your radar contact nine zero miles northwest of Deep Barrington View. Flight level three nine zero. Let's keep our speed to one seven. All right, speak on now. See where our flaps are at. Sun one seven at Delta one thirty is parked at the gates. Engines are. Thanks for your service to tonight. Gear down. Delta one thirty, Roger. Take care. Flaps thirty. See, I always get that nose up. Four eighty eight. Clear to land runway one zero. Wind zero eight zero at the. So full flaps. Keep the nose down. And let's try to line up a little bit better. Blue 1348, radar contact, the altitude. Maybe in the 1600, get blue 1348. Blue 1348, roger. Climb and maintain the flight level 380. Correct, direct, Paldi. Sorry, clear the pilot and take the altitude. Okay, disconnect autopilot. Blue 1348, climb and maintain flight level 380. Our speed down. Level 380. Taxi lights on. So I want to control or radio check. Five by five. This is the um Airsoft uh, Bombardier CRJ 700, made by Airsoft. Blackfin 48, welcome back. Exit left when able, taxi to of choice. All right, we are uh, clear of the runway and we're uh, headed to the gate for 40. Have a good night. You too. One thousand. All right, let's get some poppy lights on there. Coming in a little high. Same thing. The speed is hard to maintain. Try not to make sure the speed is not uh, too high. Let's go with idle. Same thing. Okay, low power, just a little. There we go, we got a poppy light. All right, we got two. 
Got three. Let's pick up our speed. Fighting this thing right now. First thrust. On your brakes, versus disengage. Yeah, it's hard managing the speed on landing, man. Sangwang traffic is offline. I mean, Sangwang is offline. <clears throat> so we're good. All right, landing lights off. Switch to the Unicom. Think road traffic, American Eagle 1007 vacated runway 10. That's into the gate. All right. Strobes off. Wing light off. Okay. Flaps up. All right, let's to the gate. Huh. You're going to CRJ American Eagle here. Start the uh, APU. Welcome to St. Croix, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what is your favorite aircraft to fly? Boeing 737 uh, and 738. I like this parking over here better. So number five, it has a number. That's this is an actual parking. All right, we'll watch watch some landing replays. Stick around. Let's turn off our taxi lights. Parking brakes on. If you gen on, gen one and gen two off, and engines off. TCAS on standby. Stab trim, yaw damper. Okay. Chucks on. Power cart, and bring down the stairs. Passenger signs, seatbelt signs off. When I turn off the APU gen, it should automatically go on external power, but it doesn't because I clicked it. There we go. 
let me just not click it because it doesn't show that I'm clicking it. But if I click it before I turn the APU gen off, it's going to automatically shut off the entire plane. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's start deboarding. Sorry, passengers, uh, the rain just came, you know. All right, deboarding the plane. Let's get the baggage trucks. Wow, it happened again the first time? Usually when you land, you got to press it twice. I'm amazed. What's going on here? Things are working. Okay, passengers are deboarding. Again, thank you for joining us. If anybody's new, click that subscribe button, guys. Subscribe. And then uh, be notified the next time we are going to do another flight. We might do another flight uh, after this, uh, but a uh, completely different area. We might jump in the United States, main United States. But that's thumbs up button, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, stick around for the replay. The landing replay just now. Let's just get the aircraft deboarded and bags off, and then we'll do landing replay. Deboarding is successful. Deboarding is done. Now to get the bags off, we're good to go. Thank you for that, ma'am. Oh. It should have a thing pop up when you subscribe. I don't know why it didn't work just now. Thank you for following Mike Smith. I'm not sure why it didn't pop up. It should be dancing or something. The alerts. Interesting. I forgot why my alerts aren't working now. Okay, what else we got to do? All right. It should have been opened. All right, now the bags are here. I just opened up the cargo door. All right, let's see. Any maintenance needed? All right, it's cooled. All right, this thing wasn't charging the whole time. Come on. Thank you for following Steven the Sports Guy. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Leal Ryan. Okay. All this is all good and all. IRS. Yeah, we already set the hydraulics pumps. Oh, see, it, oh, I guess I get notification fast. So it just popped up there. There we go. See, so it's working. All right, we'll leave the APU on for the replay mode. Okay, IRS off. Okay. All right, you ready for replay mode? All right, let's put the aircraft in. Let's clear this first. Let's close all the doors and everything. Let's put the aircraft in ready for taxi mode. All right, we're starting up, starting back up the plane because we're gonna go in uh, replay mode. Wait for engines to start. Seven three seven max. Okay, that is a very good plane. We haven't had a real proper one, so. I, I got to fly it. Once they bring it into the sim and I fly it, I got to see how it is. I, I love the 738. So, yes. 
naturally the 738 max looks way better the winglets the engines all of that so i that, i would say that would be my second you know i always love the, the 777 and the 787 like i love the 787 but i realize when i fly it in the same i don't have as much fun it just feels too big or too just i don't know something about it i still like the 787 um i like how it flies and stuff and then um and then you know the classic 738 and the new Max and everything, just a nice looking plane. Um, Baltimore, uh, perhaps I have, maybe an X plane. I'm not sure if I missed them. Is this thing ready to uh, replay mode? All right. Um, should I pause this sim? I feel like I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna come back to this anyway. So let me save the replay. Did I? I hope I had a new replay right i did yes i did stop the replay wait hold on, hold on what time did i stop this i hope i did i hope i did replay this um last landing let's see save yeah i think so okay um so this was tncm to tisx and um i don't know crj7 Okay, and then we're going to wait till the replay saves, and then we're going to go into landing replay. Let's pause. Let's still get pause. Everything is good. Let's make sure everything. Turn off the brake. Make sure nothing weird happens. And then let's go into replay mode. Let's, oh, we got to exit all the uh, other programs. Make sure those aren't, let's disconnect them offline. Uh, that sim. Um, let us finish the flight plan. Complete, yes. Boom. Then we're going to exit the passenger program. Flight completed. Wait, that's the first time I've ever seen that. Flight completed. So maybe I was doing something wrong before. Disconnect offline vaccine. What else did I do? I've never seen flight completed. I've just exited the program. I hope all my other flights were completed. Um, where's my flights? Profile. KCL to KTL. Huh. I saw my all the flights. Yeah. So, okay. Anyway, let's um, minimize this and let's go into replay mode. Is everything else closed out? Just want to make sure we're not on that sim anymore. these things give me some more frames all this is good all right replay mode damn i don't know if we um i don't know if we did the replay of the um damn it we don't have the replay of st croix guys we only have tncm I guess we forgot to start the recording for the St. Croix. That sucks. Oh, we got uh, some uh, some Martin replay. Change the time back to around where it was at that time. Well, that sucks. Um, anyone here know if the Xbox Series X version supports Dolby Vision? With 120 hertz and FPS, Dolby Vision. It's supposed to be a VR. What's that? All right, here we go. Land a replay. Is this still loading the island? Hold on, pause. Right. Hurry up. Do your thing. All right, so at least our flare was better coming in. All right, let's see. Still loading buildings. Why does it load only when I start the... Came in high for sure, because we were trying to manage our power. But at least our degree of ang angle wasn't too bad. Got to learn to get that nose down. All right, so it doesn't show reverse thrusts and uh, all that stuff. Let me see if I can do it here. 
Oh, I can actually do it. Let's just simulate it. Nice. Let's do it again. Let's see if I can put flaps down. I would have had to probably done that before the replay. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so it allows me to, to, to do those things. So let's just go back now and do that replay again. And this time we could now see the reverse. I'll just do the reverse thrust manually. Okay, let's play, replay. I got my reverse thrust ready to push down. All right, stop loading. Reverse thrust. Okay. All right. Let's pause. Bring it back again. Let's bring it back a little bit so it has some time to load once I click play. I think that's what I need to do. So hush your mouth. <laughs> Resume. So I think it starts to load as soon as you click the replay. So at least that. let's get that out of the way, the loading. So by the time we get to the runway, it should be good. Let's let's see. With all these things you gotta have some type of logic to it. Right, there should be some building there, isn't it? I guess not. See, it's a lot more smoother now. I'm sure it does. The Xbox Series X is gonna be great for flight sim. Radovan, Pestrusic. All right, that's touchdown. Reverse thrust. So not too shabby, not too shabby. We better deserve these ranks. All right, we're gonna do like one more replay. something I need to take a break and get some food maybe I'll stream later who knows our water is amazing. Hey, at least we're success successfully landing this thing. Just teaching ourselves recently how to fly it. So, but uh, we were on Vatsim when we did this landing, and there was a lot of pilots trying to land. So we had to go in a hold and um, let some pilots land before us, and then we had to hurry up and land and backtrack the runway to get out the way for other pilots that were waiting as well in that in the skies. So very busy. Yeah, so we tax a little so some speed. Oh 
okay? But that's pretty much that. Thank you for watching, guys. Play stopped. Oh, that's when it paused. There's a long pause in the sim. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. That sucked. I don't know what the heck that was. Sixty four. I have forty five down, 